Hi, I'm your executive chef, Albert. How are you doing today? And I'd like to tell you all that we're going to be making uh, the dish today. We're going to be making uh, a wrap, a sandwich wrap. So I'm going to go through the process of making it. Okay, so stay tuned. Now, we're going to take um, unbleached all-purpose flour. Oh, it's unbleached flour. Well, it's all-purpose unbleached. That means it doesn't unbleach. But it's better for you because it's uh, more natural. One cup. For those of you overseas, overseas, 235 milliliters. We're going to put that in the mixing bowl. We're only making one. So. Okay. So. Whoops. Okay. Continuous Asian, continuation of making a wrap. <laughs> All right. You don't put no sugar. You could put salt. It's, un it's optional, but. But this way, it does work. Here, let me see. All right, so we need to pour a little cold water in there. We wait until it gets chunky. And that's what's happening now. Doesn't take that long to make. It's a very simple recipe. So, if you want it sweet, you add sugar. If you don't want it sweet, you don't add sugar. That's simple as that. Okay, now we're gonna roll it out. So, where's your hair? All right, so we're gonna be the, use the rolling pin. No chef should be without one of these. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now, inside here, we got the dough. Ready? Made. I have to add a little flour to it. Whoop. There you go. Just bring a little flour down, like so. to get the rest of anything that's left in the bowl out before it hardens. We have two videos going at the same time. <laughs> so 
bear with me here. So, we've got a phone. We're going to knead this a little bit here like so. Now, I don't really have to roll it out. I could actually uh, form it into what I want to form it into and then put it out. But, you know, it's good to do the rolling pin. Okay, so now that we have what we need to make a wrap, well, it looks like this. It's almost like a pizza. Well, just a little bit more. Then I'm going to put it in a pan. Okay, we are here. Uh, we're just about to finish this. Okay, cool. Pour it. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is here, we're going to heat it up a little bit. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to make some like, modifications to what I had originally. <laughs> so use a hot pan, put a little oil in there. You can have the wrap cold, or you can have the wrap. You understand what I'm saying? When I mean cold, I mean like doughy, like you can heat it up. We're not trying to burn this, but we're just trying to. We're gonna make pizza today, also. Different videos. Now the pizza's gonna be made in the oven. Just making a wrap to show you here. Look. Like a BLT and a wrap. Okay, that's enough. You don't need a. That's good enough. 
that to one side. All right, uh, give me a plate. So what we got? All right, so here it is. It's in it, a round plate, okay? So we're gonna add fixtions. So let me get that going. So we're gonna make a pepper jack uh, wrap. We got two cheeses left. We got hearts, heart, heart, hard salami, roasted turkey beef. And we're gonna put down the um, Of course, I can cut them, put quarters. No, we're just gonna go like that. Okay. Mixed greens, which is basically spinach and um, spring greens. Now, we don't want to over overload this because then again, you have that issue where the sandwich, the sandwich will not fold, <laughs> or the wrap will not fold. We're gonna put some uh, <clears throat> stone uh, stone ground uh, mustard. Like so. Put a little salt. You can put a lot of pepper. It's up to you. So, this is peppercorn pepper. I like that. I do have the other kind of pepper too. Making Scott Fun and Pepper. I'll get a little hotness to it. These like those orange oops, I know it's a lot, but here okay, we're gonna put some cold cuts. We're gonna put um, turkey. Turkey. We've got black horse ham. And we got hard salami. Always need to have hard salami. And that's it. Oops. And that's about it. That's all it is to this. Um, put a little bit more mustard on top here. If you have tomatoes and a whole bunch of other stuff, yeah, you could put all that on top. Unfortunately, I don't have all that stuff. I, guess. I don't. Tomatoes. This, well, I shouldn't really say. It's very sweet. the traditional way which is basically like so <laughs> make like a, a like a gyro like a Greek rack it depends what you want um, let me go get what I need and I'll show you what I'm going to do now if I was going to serve this in a restaurant I would go like this Pretty much over like this. So, my water for a soda. That's a little fancy. Well, this one would be shorter, but I'll stick it in. So, stick it in. So, you can put some flags on there. It depends what your country you're from. But that's it. That's it. Bon appetit. See how that looks? I can clear and clean it up a little bit. I put it in that plate, which I could. So 
also a little better. It doesn't look too rough looking, <laughs> but that's how it would be. See? Bon appetit. Doesn't that look good when you eat that? Yeah, I know you would. It tastes good too. To eat that, you would have to go like this. Mmm. It's very tasty. All right, so now you know how it's made. You can, you can call it a gyro wrap. It's pretty big. Mm-hmm. Perfecto. I mean, in Spanish, that means perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. But it's very good. Okay. I would like you all, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the pizza. And we have a ice cream parlor trick. Uh, treat, I mean, a trick. <laughs> Okay, bye for you. Bye for you out there who's watching this in my screen. Okay, take care. Don't forget to subscribe.